This is a 1959 Ford F100 truck. Um, I bought this uh, from Orange County in California, imported it myself, and then went to work rebuilding it. It's got a Ford 302 engine, which I rebuilt from scratch, from the block up, everything, core plugs, uh, new cams, uh, Edelbrock uh, E Street heads, um, Edelbrock intake, Edelbrock CFM 500 carburetor, Edelbrock air filter, and rocker covers. Uh, Edelbrock high flow air filter, Petronics electronic ignition, uh, flex fan, aluminium radiator. Uh, it's just had an oil change. It's got uh, Headman headers. It's got a custom stainless steel exhaust by Long Life in Caffili. New brake cylinder, rebuilt wiper motor. Um, new battery. And uh, just tucked in there, a completely rebuilt gearbox. So it's a uh, Ford C4, uh, and that was rebuilt by American Automatics in South End on Sea. Um, new alternator, new timing cover, new uh, water pump, everything really. Um, we've got a fuel pressure gauge, Edelbrock breathers, um, everything renewed. There's the cooler for the, uh, just see it down there, the cooler for the gearbox. Um, New handbrake cable, new speedo cable, um, some real nice earths from the engine to the chassis. You see another big one down there. Uh, so there we go. I'm shut the hood down. Um, so a little look around the car. Uh, so new chromed uh, headlamp uh, covers, brand new bumper. Uh, the correct aluminium uh, plates, that's its uh, UK number, 564UIT, but in pressed aluminium. Um, correct bonnet emblems, brand new wheels and tyres. Uh, wheels were from the States, uh, tyres from this country. Um, the brakes behind there were taken off, sandblasted, painted and completely rebuilt with new components. Uh, rear wheels. Brand new again, uh, with a Dana 60 axle, so it's got a real powerful uh, rear axle. Uh, can take plenty of power. Um, here's the inside. So this is the original colour. This is Colonial White in April Green, uh, which I managed to polish up. And you can see the good, nice California pat patina. Um, there it is inside. So all taken out, fixed and replaced. Pioneer stereo, um, Pioneer subwoofer under the seat an active subwoofer, there's the speedo and you can see the door, the original colour of the doors just had brand new belts fitted um, so we've got inertia wheel belts and a lap belt and I had the seat recovered, that was around £700 and the fuel tanks behind the seat, that was completely cleaned out all new components go into the fuel tank and you can see the kind of uh, quality of the bodywork this is the most area prone to rust it's just that tiny, tiny bit down there but when you consider this is uh, it's one year off 60 years old, um, not doing too bad. Everything works, handbrake, steering, indicators, hazards. Here's the column gear change for the auto box. Um, got a set of gauges down here. Uh, and you can see uh, we've even got a proper uh, cutout. So you can only start the engine um, when it's uh, in park. So uh, a little bit of safety as well. Um, so going around the back here, you can see the bed. And uh, for a 60, almost a 60 year old uh, bed, it's absolutely solid. It's thick, real thick steel, real high quality steel. Um, the truck was painted before I got it. So this um, matte black was already on it. But you can see uh, the patina on the rear here where it hasn't been painted. It's got a little badge, California, since 59. And uh, here's the exhaust and the uh, rear number plate. Uh, so custom exhaust by Long Life in uh, Caffili in Wales. Uh, complete true duels, uh, so no crossover. Uh, there's the Dana rear axle, axle with custom um, shock absorber mounts. Uh, it's all been taken off, cleaned, oiled, replaced. 
um, all the shock absorber hangers, all the uh, all the rubbers, all the mounts, everything replaced. Uh, looking down this side of the truck, pretty much the same, all very straight. Uh, lovely wheels. There we go. And let's have a little see if we can see the gearbox under here. Uh, the gearbox was um, the brand new gearbox mounts, brand new engine mounts. Uh, brand new prop shaft and uh, see to the back you know how much you can see there but obviously come down and have a look at it the uh, underneath is, is is amazing really for the age um, even the uh, steps inside little, just little tiny bits of rust here and there though but but not much at all um, basically very very solid and very sound for the year um, okay so let's uh, fire it up starts really nicely um, I've not put it on a dyno I don't know what the actual uh, starts on the key when it's in part so there's the safety uh, element of it. it's got to be in part mm, a bit cold perhaps to give it a little bit of uh, throttle listen to the exhaust which is just about acceptable when it's uh, at idle uh, diamond don't have anyone with me so I can't rev it but I can uh, try and give you an idea So slip it into gear here, nicely into gear and it's, uh, it's got really light steering and very easy to drive. Pioneer stereo will uh, connect to a uh, normal iPad, uh, iPhone or uh, Android phone and um, it'll give you track listings and uh, what you're listening to and it's also got a digital radio, proper digital antenna. So very, very civilized when you go in slow, um, you know, no problem at all to drive, you could drive this every day just trundles along quite nicely uh, we'll just head out uh, and just uh, give it a little bit of uh, gas but it's pretty powerful if you want it to be um, or you can just drive it around nicely all day idea of the uh, of the power that you don't want to give it too much if you leave it in gear it will uh, go a lot faster but that's just normally just with the uh, gearbox as it is okay so that's the that's the truck any questions give me a shout I'll put the link on eBay um, you can see all the originality of it it's a it's a lovely truck but I've got into flying I need the money for a flying project uh, otherwise I'd be keeping it for sure Plenty of go, plenty of go. It makes a great noise. Uh, it draws a lot of attention. I've been to car shows where there's ooh, like McLarens and Ferraris and all sorts of stuff. And um, this is kind of drawing the most attention for the noise and the looks. Um, so yeah, it's my little truck. Sort of about two years in the making. Spent a whole winter building the engine, uh, bit by bit, doing it properly. So. Uh, I uh, hope uh, someone else enjoys it as much as I have. Bye.